They've been hunting deer on the Quantock Hills of Somerset and on nearby Exmoor for thousands of years. Just in the last couple, they've had a few problems. Huntmaster Richard Downs has had to face the courts and now has a criminal record. Alison Hawes runs the South West region for the Countryside Alliance and is passionate about hunting. It's very difficult for us to work out what is lawful and what is unlawful. It's very difficult for any huntsman who's going out day in, day out, trying to do his job. Um, and every time he's thinking, am I operating within the law? Am I uh, trail hunting? Is that all right? I've got all these exemptions that I can meet. Am I meeting them all? And it's particularly difficult for the staghounds because their form of hunting uh, is very different to that of the foxhound packs and the beagle packs. So it is much more difficult for huntsmen like Richard Down to uh, meet all the exemptions and to do his very best, which he has been trying. And it's just very sad that on two occasions uh, the law has found against him. Thanks to an enormous amount of work by supporters on the ground and the Countryside Alliance promoting their efforts and the sport at a national level, hunting is still attracting new enthusiasts and providing red letter days. James Hawthorne is vice chairman of the Quantock Staghounds. The Countryside Alliance have, um, have been a great support um, during these trials on a personal level, on a, polit a political level and on a financial level um, to, a, to a lesser extent. Um, no, they've been, they've been terrific and they are the only organisation that is out there um, fighting for repeal and um, so it's imperative that, um, that we give them our whole support. Muddling along is no good at all. Um, you know, Richard, our huntsman, has got two convictions, now he's got a criminal record. Um, that's two good reasons that we don't carry on under this law um, and every huntsman in the country has the potential of going out and breaking the law and ended up with a criminal record. Well, that is just not right. It's a bad law. And um, Tony Blair himself has said he regrets it. But that's little comfort to us now. Um, we need to get this law repealed. And, you know, we're committed to keep going. But we cannot keep going for the long term underneath this hunting act. We do need repeal desperately. Stag hunting is not elitist. It's for the masses. It attracts anyone with an interest in the deer herds of this part of Britain and it supports a variety of ancient and modern skills. It also binds rural communities, but the importance of the sport must be heard and understood by everyone, not just by those who live and breathe it. So we spent 700 hours discussing in Parliament hunting whether it was right or wrong. What we're now discussing is this piece of legislation, the Hunting Act. And we have the judiciary, we have the police, we have the courts. We even have two prime ministers who all agree that it is a bad piece of legislation. It doesn't work, it does nothing for animal welfare whatsoever, and it's about time it went. We have here um, the, some cards that uh, we are going to be issuing on Boxing Day, and they have a picture of our former prime minister. He does actually admit and I quote, one of the domestic legislative measures I most regret is the Hunting Act. So here we have the Labour Prime Minister, who was actually responsible for bringing through the Hunting Act, actually admitting five years later that he made a mistake. Postcards will be sent to MPs to demonstrate support for the repeal of the Hunting Act. Whatever your MP's views on hunting, it's vital that they realise how hard it is for huntsmen to do their job under the current legislation. Repeal is the only option. If you want to send a car to your MP, contact the Countryside Alliance.